Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Phil Heath, The Gift, six-time Mission Olympia here over at Armbrist Pro Gym. Getting ready to do some chess, guys. Uh, about one month after the Mission Olympic contest. And uh, just figured I'd show you guys how I do a rebound workout. Um, this workout is gonna be very short resting periods. Uh, pretty intense, but more intensity coming from the lack of rest in between the sets. Uh, rep range is gonna go anywhere from, we're gonna bounce around, we're gonna go from 10 to 12, down to seven and eights. Um, that's just gonna you know, make sure that we're still able to pile on some poundage, but at the same time, get the maximum contraction. And that's what it's all about at this point. Last thing we really want is to be injuring ourselves through uh, joints and stuff like that. Um, wait right now, I have no idea. Maybe after this workout, we'll go take a look. Um, and here I'm actually over at the bench press. I normally don't do this, but uh, for today, I'm kind of just thinking, you know what? It's off season, I don't have to go extremely heavy, but I need to warm up. So I'm gonna warm up with this and I'm gonna do a little warm up with some incline and then we're gonna get into everything else. So let's get to it. My trainer, Han and Rambot, doesn't usually like me doing this primarily because about early on in my career, had a couple of mishaps, um, slight pec tears and stuff like that. So um, he's always shied me away from doing barbell bench. Usually do a lot more dumbbell, as some of you guys may not have seen. But even during the prep, even though you guys watch the Give the Channel stuff, I do alternate doing dumbbells um, and machines. But for today, we're keeping it somewhat light with the 225, just trying to get the body moving. Got to stay injury free, guys. So when we're talking about rest in between, we're going anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Right now I'm more focused on just getting in, hard and sharp, getting out. Those two, three hour wait sessions, that'll have to wait until after I get recovered from the prep that I just had. So like what we can also do is to change it up, is do some rest pause, kind of like what you guys saw.
Time to get everything warmed up.
So what's cool about this machine, this drive machine, when they're here, it's at the middle. When it's up here, it's at the beginning of the, of the, <coughs> of the exercise. And when it's here, it puts more emphasis on the end of the rep. So it's hard just pushing the damn thing up. So what I'm doing right now, I'm overloading the beginning part of this exercise. So I'll do a good set here, maybe do a couple here, finish with one at the end, and then move on. And that way we're getting, not just the beginning, but the middle and the end of each workout. And then you'll notice like, where you're most strong at, where you fail at. Some people can't even get it up, but once they get it going, they're fine. So they always need a lift off. So you wanna do the beginning, but for those guys that have a hard time getting at that ass rep and they're squirming and stuff like that, you wanna maybe lower the weight and focus more just on the end. Just did a rest pause work. Um, just did some rest pause on this. I think on this machine in particular, doing rest pause is something serious. Because really, you could just overload this part. So when you're doing rest pause, it hurts even more. So what we're doing on that is at the end of the rep is where it got the most difficult. So this is teaching you at the end to stick it. So this would be important for guys, I wouldn't say for like powerlifting meets or anything like that, but for people that 
or getting ready for shows that need to really focus on that maximum contraction, the, the, the peak of the exercise, this machine for sure will help you get that. Because we've already did the middle range. We did the beginning, we worked on that, worked on the strength, just getting off the rack. Now we're learning how to stick it. So we're gonna move on and go do some incline hammer. So normally I would go after this thing and you're looking at this like one plate fill usually goes up to five if not six. Do some single arm today. I was about fine tuning some things, figuring out which side is stronger, especially after a show. I could tell right now that I need a massage really bad. Haven't had one in quite some time. Haven't gone to chiropractor gosh, in over a month and uh, all of this is hurting and I'm having back spasms. So I've noticed that when you're having those issues, especially with your neck and your trap and your lower trap, to be able to press, actually, you're not getting the right movement. Because every time I put my elbows back and I press, I can feel it. So more of the story, guys, always get your therapy done. I notice these are really tricky because uh, like most exercise, especially with machines, you gotta find that sweet spot. That sweet spot is where you find your body in that right alignment to get maximum contraction where you feel, not just a pump, but just like you feel the actual muscles engaging. That's what this is all about. Finding different machines, free weights, whatever, working to have you can to get maximum, maximum contraction for that particular exercise, for that particular body part. Can't get maximum contraction, we only give it 50%. And uh, who wants 50% gains? We want 100% of ourselves.
three more sides. All right, that does it for our chest training today. Um, feel pretty good. Uh, thought we were able to get a lot done during this workout. Um, was able to warm up with some uh, flat barbell and uh, incline barbell. And then went over to the strive machine and uh, cranked out some good weights there, doing some good rest pause uh, from the beginning to the to the middle, from the middle to the beginning to the end of the peak contraction, um, that machine is unreal. So anyone that has drive equipment at your gym, you know, I'm giving them a plug. They should give me some free stuff, huh? But uh, shortly after that, I came over and did some incline hammer, but instead of doing it with your traditional back, back we use the pad with both arms going, we decided to do it unilaterally. So I mean, I just really wanted to focus on how my right and left side were working. Um, which side was stronger? Uh, was there any, uh, I don't wanna say injuries, but you know, I always try to do a self check um, while I'm training, especially after shows. And I noticed that, yeah, I'm having like a little bit of back spasm on the right side. So that lets me know to tell the chiropractor, the massage therapist, the acupuncturist, exactly what I need. So then I can go back in the gym and do my thing. A lot of the time we train and we train through the pain and this and that, but we're not keeping a registry of why that's happening. It could be a lack of sleep, it could be a bad bed, it could be uh, sitting in traffic, it could be uh, doing the Olympia and kicking everybody's ass and then going on, and going on vacation and drinking and partying and stuff, having a good time and not eating right for four weeks and coming back and trying to kill it and your body's not used to that. It's <laughs> probably what it was, right? So shortly after that, we did some FSC7 here on this machine. Um, it's fascia stretch training. Uh, system 7. Uh, that was comprised of my trainer, Hani Rambod, and basically what that is is 30 to 45 seconds of resting period, about 80 to 90 percent of your maximum. For today, we did seven reps. Um, you can do eight to 12, but we did that in seven, seven to eight, and uh, you know, we do that for seven total sets. So 
I'd say definitely walked in, you know, feeling myself, but I definitely walked out feeling big, you know, feeling full. Um, I guess I should probably get over on this scale. I only had one meal today. So far, shame on me. And I'm sure, let me turn on, is there a light? Hey, what's up, Nicole? How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, good. Watch your back. <laughs> yeah. So, right now it reads at 273. Not bad after first meal of the day, so I should be getting in five to six more. So, uh, until next time, it's the gift six time. Or how I want to put it, this way, this way, this way, <laughs> this way, this way. I don't know. But uh, we'll see you soon, guys. Peace.